Welcome back to Newsmaker Live, and we go directly to the phone lines. We have our first caller. Please go ahead and uh, with your contribution. Good night, Clinton. Good night. And good night to Dr. Kelly Anthony, the Prime Minister. Good night, sir. I want to take the opportunity to congratulate you to, in order of you being the, the leader of this of this country. Thank you very I much. I believe that um, the road to be there, it wasn't um, an easy one, but the, the people of St. Lucia, they, they restored their trust and their confidence in you to return you to the helm of this great nation. I don't know if I'm in a position to ad advise you, Dr. Ken Anthony, but I believe um, in as much as the, the country needs the, um, the additional revenue, because there are many things to be done in this country, I am um, in support of the VAT. Mm -hmm. I know it is inevitable yes. and there are different uh, certain commitments, you know. Right. But I listened to the um, the president of the um, the Chamber of Commerce, and um, he said that um, a little more time should be should be given. So I want you to to walk alongside to walk alongside with him and yes, as well yes, yes. in order to go to this yes. this process. Well, and, um, I, I, do, I do agree with you on, the, on that point, and I want to assure you that... Thank you, Kola. I certainly... Do I finish it, you know? Yes, but yes. I, I'm just yes. commenting very quickly. I, I certainly would um, dialogue with the chamber and try to ease their affairs and their anxieties. I think it is very important that we all walk in this hand in hand. Yeah, and I, and I want to say that um, to the people of St. Lucia, that this is the Labour government that um, delivered in the previous terms in office. This is the same Labour government that um, built the national stadium, the sporting stadium, the same government that built the roads. And I have no doubt in your administration, Dr. Kennedy, that, um, that with time given, with a little patience, I believe that um, you are going to provide the better days that was promised to the people of this country. Have a good night. Thank, Thank you, you for much, your Carla. confidence and your very comforting words. I appreciate it very much. Now, yes, now, sure. now, Dr. Anthony, I want to go to a, a, a very probably sensitive sure, issue, sure. and I mean, those issues were raised with mm -hmm. uh, the former Prime Minister, sure. mm -hmm. uh, Sir John Compton, and his health. Uh, ju just uh, to touch <laughs> on your, your health a bit. Um, why, do, why, don't you, why don't you be more blunt than <laughs> over you here? I have cancer or something? <laughs> well, I mean, there are some rumors that you, well, I don't know what, what it might be, but I mean, I, uh, would, would you No, no, it? Clinton, I'm fine. I'm in, mm -hmm. I'm in good health. I've never had a diagnosis from any doctor that I have I have cancer. Oh, um, I, I mean, mm. I don't know where this this rumor came from. I think it's well, it started off after the next election, the last election. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know why they wanted to spread such rumor, but that's not so. I'm fine. I'm in good health. I'm 61, so I have the moans and growth like everybody who's turned 61. But I'm fine. I'm trying to look after myself mm -hmm. as well. I'm trying to eat better trying to avoid certain things because you know when you reach that age you do have to make certain adjustments and um, very clearly adjustments of diet of, of exercise um, so all of that is all of that is being done and like everybody else I'll have to have my usual checkups to make sure I'm in good health in, in perfect health um, just as, as a little note I'm, I'm fully aware that the window is closing. As a, it's a term that I use often, that as you grow older, mm -hmm. um, adjustments have to be made. And despite the duties of ministerial office, I want to enjoy every living day like every other person. So I'm in good health. I'm fine as of, as of now. Um, I don't have cancer, as people are claiming. Um, there's no doctor who's ever diagnosed um, cancer. That's not so. I don't know where that rumor came from. But like everybody else, you can never speak for the future. You don't right. know what's going to happen. But as of now, I'm good, I'm fine, and I'm doing my best to look after myself. Now, I know that you'll not be in sure. that position all the time, and you'd want, you know, sure, sure. In, in probably a twilight days to spend yes. time with the grandchildren. Absolutely, uh, and, and I've got three of them, so yes. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. And yes. I'm sure that number will increase <laughs> sometime. <laughs> <laughs> well, Let's probably, see what happens. Probably. Yes. Uh, Maybe. So any succession plan um, to say, well, okay, at this point you will yeah. demit office and have somebody else to continue? Well, let me put it this way. It, it, it really amazes me that um, we often ask this question and not the, not the UWP. I would have thought the issue of succession um, with the UWP looms far larger than with the Labour Party. Mm -hmm. But I don't know 
and why the fascination in, in the case of the Labour Party. I have always said that the question of the individual to replace me when I bow out bow the policy is really for the members and supporters of the Sindhusha Labour Party. They'll make that final decision as to who they would want to replace me as party leader. It is not for me to make that decision, and I don't intend to make that decision for them. It's their sovereign right as members of the party to do so. Uh, sorry about that. We just lost that call, sure, but if you sure. can... Um, uh, I apologize uh, to the caller, though. Well, I mean, I, and I would like you sure. to finish the points because I, I, I'm, I'm sure that some of the questions that I'm asking that they would want to ask as well. Mm -hmm. um, national security, this sure. is a major issue for us, and this is something that affects all St. Lucians. Right. Uh, we heard the big uh, brouhaha about the visa revocations, a senior police officer, his visa being revoked or not right. revoked. Mm -hmm. uh, what can you tell us about that and, and uh, how does the government get involved in that situation right. since it is a matter of national interest security, and national yeah. security? I need to be exceedingly careful about what I say and I hope you as well as the listeners would understand because I can't prejudice anybody's legal rights mm -hmm. or other rights for that matter. Neither can I cast as person unfairly on an individual. But what I would say is this. Shall we take that call now? Let's, and let's then, take this and call then and then, then you can speak on that. On that. Yes. Uh, please go ahead, caller. Good evening. Good evening, Clinton. Yes. Hello? Yes, Hi. good evening, caller. Good evening, Mr. Prime Minister. Hello, good evening. Yeah, um, Mr. Mr. Prime Minister Clinton, I want to speak that. Mm -hmm. Because it seems to me First of all, there's a lack of information concerning that, as well as quite a bit of misinformation mm -hmm. concerning, concerning that. First of all, I want to say that that is not a new that is not a new tax, but on the other hand, it is a new tax. One of the, one of the taxes that will be done away with once that is implemented, is the consumption tax. Correct. Now we know that the consumption tax is on goods. With the implementation of that, it will also it will be imposed on services as well. So in that regard, it will be a new tax. For those those who specialize in those services, correct? Right. Mm -hmm. So so you know I want for us to understand this clearly. The other thing, Clinton, Mr. Prime Minister, is that the, the, the VAT literature talks about that will not be imposed on local transportation. Now, the question that arises is this. Mm -hmm. Does that mean that VAT will be imposed on airline tickets? You, 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 you know, that is a, you know, and I have all kinds of, you know, questions yes, that need yes, to be answered. Yes, but, you know, yes. I'm going to let, you know, um, the, the, um, the um, Prime Minister attempt yes, to answer that and, you know, as well as let other people um, call him. Thank, yeah. Thank you very much, caller. Okay. Uh, that, that's a, a good yeah, question. I, I Already there's so many I, yeah, taxes think, on airline tickets. I think he's, he's put it very well, though, and he's correct mm -hmm. um, in a sense that um, there are some uh, businesses within a service sector mm -hmm. which hitherto had not paid any kind of um, tax except, of course, when they purchase goods and services um, to produce the services right. that they're engaged in. Um, for example, restaurants and so on. But now with that, then that would have to be collected. So to that, in that narrow sense, it, it is a new tax. But generally speaking, um, it is a replacement tax. Yeah. Um, he is right about the airline tickets and so on, and, and that one I'm going to take on board because um, the rate of tax for airline tickets um, tend to be on the low side, about 7%, I believe it is. I don't know whether it has changed. I can't remember if it has been changed. Um, so he's right, but I don't have an immediate answer to that one. And uh, Somewhere along the way, I will give an answer to his question once I have assessed the technical information. We have another caller. Sure. Uh, please go ahead uh, with your contribution, caller. Yes, good evening, Mr. Clinton. Good evening, And sir. also good evening to our beloved Prime Minister, Dr. Kenny D. Anthony. How are you, sir? Good and evening I to you. I think um, I should say, um, should I say that congratulations Thank after you. Thank um, you. your victory, Dr. Anthony. Thank you very much. Uh, let's start the ball rolling. Mm -hmm. um, Dr. Anthony, I have three questions. Um, the first, 
um, what would be the what is the, the, the government position as far as the diplomatic relations of St. Lucia with um, Taiwan and China, China, Taiwan, and um, the the position with the La Paradis Hotel at, at um, Puala in Denray, mm -hmm. and also the dreaded um, disease which mm -hmm. has plagued the, the banana industry. Black Sigatoga. And um, in closing, Dr. Antony, mm -hmm. I think um, it is something that is very dear to my heart. Uh, one of my favorite lines from the late Winston Churchill, mm -hmm. the truth is incontrovertible, panic may resent it, ignorance may deride it, man mm -hmm. may desert it, mm -hmm. but there it is. Good evening. Right. Thank you very much, and I really want to say I appreciate uh, the way that you asked your questions, just yes, uh, brought them out, then the, yeah. the, the, the Prime three, Minister can respond to three them. Three very important questions. Yes, very though. important. Let's take the first one. What is the government's position on the China-Taiwan issue? As it is well known, we are conducting a review of our foreign policy. Mm -hmm. And that review may well entail that St. Lucia seeks to make new friends or treat some historical friends even more importantly than we have in the past. For example, it's reasonably clear that given where the world is going, we have to develop new relations with countries in Asia, particularly um, India, particularly mm -hmm. um, Korea, Singapore, and these countries. Also. The strategic um, geopolitical changes in Latin America cannot be ignored. Right. The economies are beginning to boom, particularly Brazil, and Brazil is now a major player in Latin America and in South America. Brazil has huge potential for us if we can sort out a number of these. For example, if we can get that market to open up mm -hmm. for tourism, then almost immediately it will can have very beneficial impact here in St. Lucia. So that review is looking at, the, at those issues, and the China-Taiwan issue will be in that broad context. Um, we are currently engaged in discussions with the government of Taiwan, particularly over the nature of assistance and support that they would want to give to the country. Mm -hmm. And they have said to us that they are only prepared to make available 12 million US dollars per year. If you multiply that, that will be about um, 12, 784, 12, 224, about 32 million EC dollars per year. A far cry from what we think they made available to the United Workers Party. So we're in discussions on these matters um, with them. And clearly, you know, we have indicated some rules will have to change. Mm -hmm. That is to say that um, whatever financial support is given to the country must be channeled through the consolidated fund. And it cannot be done in the way that they did in the past by just making money available to town councils or to other agencies without the appropriate systems of accountability in place. So those discussions are on the way. Meanwhile, in this period, we honor all agreements with them. We'll continue discussions with them. I have asked for the recall of Ambassador Tom Chu. I made it absolutely clear that his behavior in St. Lucia over the last couple of years was unacceptable to the government of St. Lucia, that he got himself involved in the domestic politics of the country, and we have to separate his behavior from what his government stands for. Mm -hmm. His government explained that there is a law in place in Taiwan to the effect that um, there ought to be no movement of diplomatic personnel up to a period of three months before an election or presidential election in Taiwan. We respect that. We said, look, we respect your law if that is the case, but once the new president is sworn in, then we expect action to be taken on this issue. So that as far as we are concerned, the time has come for him to begin to consider um, returning to Taiwan because as far as we are concerned, his presence in St. Lucia is not in the best interest of the relations between uh, of Taiwan and the government of people of St. Lucia this time. Uh, let me let's take now this. Now he uh, asked two other questions, yes. and I hope our callers can very quickly. Yeah. The Parody Hotel. It, it, yeah. If, if we can just take this question, sure. and then we'll ha have you answer uh, the, the last three questions together. That he raised. Okay. Yes. Fine.